Good afternoon everybody, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to Rhino Videos. Today we're going to be discussing um, Steve Bruce, Jose Mourinho and Glenn Kamara. Okay, so we get on to uh, first and foremost, Steve Bruce. Is it time for him to go? I believe it is. Yeah. After that performance yesterday against Brighton, they're not playing for him and players are not interested. His system was set up to not concede. Three worldies, nothing you can do about any of those finishes, but they could have been closed down. Not taking anything away from those finishes, but it could have been easily stopped and they just did not look interested, did not did not want to know. Basically, just get in and get out. And speaking of which, if he was to go, who would replace him? Who's out there? I'm speaking to Newcastle fans. I will link this to Newcastle fans as well. Who would you have that's available? I'm not knocking on anything. I'm not saying right or wrong or anything like that. But saying, at the pick of the managers who are available, who would you have? Who is the best fit? for Newcastle at the moment. I mean, I saw that um, Mark Ashley has come out and backed Steve Bruce. Now, that could either mean one or two things. He's got hope that Steve Bruce would turn it around. Or two, and I think this is the case, he doesn't care. He doesn't care what happens to the club. And I, th I think you're gonna, the way things are going, I think Newcastle will be relegated. On current form, because you can't see where they're going to pick up a next win. They're only a goal. And they had a fantastic away performance against Everton. They won two 0 Good game. Difficult place to go to, as we saw with Man City recently or yesterday. But who realistically would you have in charge? Yes, it probably is time for a change. But who would you take charge? Let me know in the comments. Right, now we get on to Jose Mourinho, another one whose system doesn't seem to fit the players. And we saw last week in the game against us that on paper that's a fantastic Tottenham side. Four of attack and intent and you expect a, them to turn us over. Especially after we just come back from Greece, you know, Friday morning. But it turned out it was an insipid display. Again, they did not want to know. Kane was anonymous, Bay was anonymous, yes, Song went off injured. Then we get to Thursday night, and you turn you up after the first leg, should be relatively comfortable, go out and be professional, but what happens? They get stuffed. They get stuffed by Dynamo Zagreb, and it was a terrific hat-trick. <laughs> Nothing you could do. You can't take away anything from the goals. But it was such a bad performance. And again, if you were going to get rid of Jose Mourinho, who's out there who would be in charge? Who would take over? It's, I, I, I'm not laughing at them, not really. But you've got to think, his style doesn't match the, the game anymore. Yes, when he came in, I was it when they... Porto, when they beat Man United, that's, that's 17 years ago. And his brand of defensive game doesn't suit Spurs. I was speaking to a, to and from work, I, I'll get the bus. And as a bus driver, Tottenham fan, they picked me up Wednesday night. And he goes, no, Thursday night, sorry, this is before the, the late kickoffs. You know, obviously, we have late kickoffs. And he goes, um, we're going out. I go, well, how can you say that? You, you turn it up from the first leg. Surely you've got the players to get the job done. He goes, no. The way we're playing at the moment, yes, we have a couple of wins. Everyone forgets how bad we play, and then we won't play again. Kane scores a few games on the trot. Everything's rosy. And then he gets injured, comes back, and there are games that he doesn't want to know. Now, again, is it time for Kane to go as well? And why haven't any of the big clubs come in for him over the years? And you've got to think, ambition-wise, yes, he's, he's he will score goals. That's, that's a given. But he's won nothing. 
and you're judged on, you know, your trophy cabinet and things like that. He hasn't got any. Okay, golden boot at the World Cup. Half of them were against Costa Rica. He's won a couple of golden boots in the Premier League, but that's that's personal. That's not that's not winners' medals. Yes, they have got a Carabao Cup coming up, but it's against Man City, who have won it for two three years on the trot. Can you see Spurs getting past them? Can you see Spurs stopping Man City? The way they're playing at the moment, they could feel the, the weakened side and it'd still be better than some teams' first teams. So who would who would go in? It probably is time for Jose to go. Is is it's a dinosaur basically now. We had this with Wenger. Never once did we boo him though. Oh, we wanted him out. I still remember I was against Burnley. Last game, Wenger's last game. I went round to my mates and block nineteen. Why the Burnley fans? I don't understand. You know, you should be clapping. You wanted him out. I go, well, you're right. <laughs> You're right, this is what the fans wanted. That's what they got. And yes, we went through Emery. Went through a lot of shit with Emery. But now we've got Arteta. We've got to stick with Arteta. Trust the process. But Mourinho has had years and not done it. This is, I think, this is the only club he's not won a trophy yet. Bruce, his tactics don't work. If he was any sort of a Newcastle man, he would go. He would leave and say, this, I mean, Kevin Keegan did that with England. He said, I can't carry this team to where they need to be. And he resigned. He was a bigger man. Can Steve Bruce do that? Time will tell. And then we get on to a, a really bad situation in Croatia. Uh, Slavia Prague. Look what happened against Rangers. Now, I stand with Glenn Kamara on that because if that if that Prague player just said what he supposedly has been saying, he said, "Oh, you're you're a fucking guy," he wouldn't have reacted like that. So I, I'm hundred percent certain that he said something racist because he wouldn't react like that. And he had Rangers player next to him. He said, "Who heard it?" And that's why he reacted what he did. And you can't find clubs anymore. Because it's, it's, it, goes back, it goes back to that film. There's a line in Schindler's List. Where Ralph Fiennes is talking to um, Liam Neeson. And Ralph Fiennes asks him, what is one person worth to you? You know, paying wise. So we're basically saying to UEFA, you're finding them, that's how much racism is worth to you. It's got to stop. And personally, I think they should be kicked out of the Europa League. And if not, I hope we absolutely dick them. Because they deserve it. You can stand no part of racism in a game. There's no need for it. Friendly banter... And when it turns to hate, that's where the line is drawn, and that's where it gets wrong. But yes, so let me know what your thoughts are on any of the subjects that we've touched. Uh, I don't want to get into too much of our game until afterwards. We've got West Ham, and see how that goes, because they're flying at the moment. They had a little blip against United last week. Yes, just after our game. So hopefully... We can get a result there and just carry on. But let me know your thoughts on the comments down below. Please, as always, like, share and subscribe if you can. I appreciate all comments, no matter if you think I'm wrong, if you think my opinions are wrong. Please let me know what you think yours are. But I hope you all have a great Sunday. And take care, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.